Hi guys, it's uh, Bob from Greybeard Models. Welcome back. Um, just wanted to do a quick catch up on where we are with the gecko. Um, I've done a lot of things off camera and uh, I just thought I'd go through that and give you an idea of where we are. So I'll change on to the green mat or the brown one and then we'll have a quick look at what we've done. Okay, so going ahead and uh, doing some of the sub-assemblies, I decided to put the petrol cans together. Look at the two halves of the petrol can, and there, there. One side's got holes, one side's got pens. Go together, should go together nicely. According to the instructions, there's a piece of photo etch that will fit in there. So we've got it go to the photo etch, cut the photo etch off the fret, and there's a deliberate mistake. As you can see, pins are on those corners and a hole it's on those corners holes holes are on those so the actual holes themselves are not in the right place for the pins. Great stuff. Uh, well, the easiest option is take the pins off there, take the pins off there, glue that into position around there, and obviously that one around there as well, and then put the other halves together and stick them together. But then we're reliant on super glue and then the top parts there and there to hold them together but yeah there's a mistake there moving on So uh, one of the first things to be got done, I mean uh, what I've done is I've gone ahead and had a look at what I can get done and be put away ready for later on in the build. So the Pioneer tools, um, I've given them a basic coat of paint. Um, they're not heavily weathered yet but they'll go into the, into the roof of the cab. So they're done. Um, I've also painted the the wheels and, uh, and the tyres so just giving them a coat of paint and uh, giving them a basic coat of uh, tyre black on the sides um, but obviously you know there's some there's some work to do there's weathering and stuff to do but we've got the, got the paint prepped on those um, the other thing that we've got done is the stretchers so we've got the stretchers built um, in the gecko kit they're quite detailed um, there's the brass etch there there is the the locking mechanism that, that holds the stretcher open so that's made out of two pieces of brass etch so the stretchers are all built um, the next thing that we've done is 
we've put the engine together let's see if we can get some more better light there um, yeah so the engines together and sort of painted the spark plugs and just give it a little bit of a uh, little bit of dry brushing to begin with and then we'll have a look at I'm not sure about the rocker covers and the sump um, the rocker cover and the sump I've got a funny feeling that they may have been the camo colors I'm not I'm not a hundred percent sure so if anybody knows I'd, be, I'd appreciate that um, so the uh, the front in a brake sides um, I've actually done these in a in a sort of black with with a little bit of uh, dry brush in there because I don't think that they would have been um, camouflage colors I really don't I've, I don't know I could be wrong anyway so just done a basic coat on the on the fan belt um, just got to redo the belt on that so doing lots of little little detail stuff so you know the fans there um, that's the uh, the generator I think or, or what we would call the dynamo I suppose um, that's that's to be mounted yet and um, there is quite a few other bits and pieces I'll be back to you in a second so put the seat together and given that a coat of paint um, it's just a basic colour that's got to be weathered and, and dealt with um, got the, the fuel tanks are done again basic colours and waiting to be weathered so there's, there's a whole range of stuff that we've done um, with the uh, chassis painted in sort of, you know the sort of desert sand colour um, I'm still not convinced I think these inner brake drums I don't know if I don't know would they have painted those as well with a camouflage colour I'm not so sure I think that might have been factory factory done but I don't know anyway there's there's the box that the driver's seat goes on again that's that's waiting for um, some weathering and same with the passenger seat all of that stuff so there's a there's a fair bit that's gone on um, so we'll crack on and do a bit more and I'll come back to you shortly hi right, guys so one of the things I looked at going further ahead was had another look at the, the rear step now in the airfix kit they give you the parts so that you can actually have this this step lowered down now <coughs> you can actually do it with the gecko kit but you need to construct it totally differently different more different okay so this is how this is how the gecko kit would have you construct it I haven't added the the photo etch but that's that's how they would have you construct it and then you've got bring that up you've got the two pieces of photo etch there which create that cross now if you wanted to wanted to do this so that you had to step down um, what you need to do is first of all take these two parts here and instead of putting them across like that have them hanging 90 degrees down on that from that pivot point so that pivot point gets that hung that far down you then need to turn this around because it's actually if you if you put this into into place on there um, 
need to get those pivot points in, in there. So you can actually lower that down and put that in place so that it is the lower step. Now what you then do is the, the photo etch then needs to be fixed to this parts that are hanging down so that you've got the cross beam but you can actually do it but they don't <laughs> the tactile kit don't tell you how but you can do it because the parts are all separate and you can reconstruct it so that the step is down <laughs> So I've now got um, this mounted <coughs> in the down position, as they say. It's a little bit out of square, but it's all right. So, and that's that's how you do it with the with the gecko kit. It will work, but it just takes a bit of uh, bit of engineering, I think. Um, but that works. Now the other thing, while I'm here, I'll show you, is the radiator grill or the the nose grill. Um, they fit relatively well. I found that I had to just ease out the the curves there. Um, it was not quite right, um, but then that all went went together quite nicely um, one of the things I would advise is on the side ones these parts I think are parts one and two um, they need to be cambered over slightly so I just took them and I just hand rolled them literally put it on there and just eased it over it doesn't need anything it's 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 fine um, but yeah, just eased it over just so that there was a, a curvature there. Um, and they went together quite nice. I think that looks really nice. It's just a shame it's in the wrong shape. But anyway, moving swiftly on. Back in a second. Right, so I think that's it for now, guys. Um, I'll get all this uploaded. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Take it easy. Bye for now.